This is Algebra 2, uh, working on concept, way back on concept 14. And I'm going to do that, to do that, I'm going to look at these two numbers, 11 and 12 on this page. Uh, and the nice thing is we have, for this set of four answers, four questions, we have this set of uh, four answers in this answer bank. So whatever we get here, we should find it over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with number 11, where we're adding these two fractions. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And to start off, I'm gonna, I don't have a ton of room here, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this again. x squared plus x over two x plus six plus three x plus six over x plus three. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is when I'm adding, I need to have common denominator, and I don't yet. I've got an x plus three over here, two times x plus six. Now, one little trick is I know that on this side, I can factor out a common factor, which is the two, so I can make this two times the quantity of x plus three. And now notice that I've got an x plus three here, of an x plus three here. The one thing I'm missing to get common denominator is this two. So I'm gonna go to this fraction, and I'm gonna multiply the denominator by two. But since I did that on the bottom, I have to also do that on the top. So now when I'm adding these fractions, I'm gonna have my common denominator, which is two times the quantity of x plus three. And on the top, I'm going to have x squared plus x. And then I'm going to distribute the 2. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 6 is 12. And now from here, it's a matter of simplifying as much as I can. When I combine terms, I'm going to get x squared plus 7x plus 12. I'm going to leave this as 2 times the quantity of x plus 3. And I think this might factor, so I'm going to try that. I'm going to have the denominator still 2 times the quantity x plus 3. Whoa. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to try to factor this to see if I can get two factors uh, using my diamond. The 12 will go on top, the 7 on the bottom. 4 and 3 works. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. And the signs are nice because they're all positive. So I have x plus, x plus 4, x plus 3. And now I have one last thing I can do to simplify. <clears throat> Since these match on top and bottom, they're multiplying top and bottom, I can cancel those, which leaves me with just x plus 4, the quantity of x plus 4 divided by 2, which if I look at my answer bank, there's x plus 4 over 2, then I've used that one, so that one's good. Uh, now at number 12. Same idea, but now we don't need common denominator because we are multiplying. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to, when I rewrite this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to factor as much as I can. Now the one part that it will not factor is the 8x on that denominator on the right side. But I should be able to factor all the rest of this. Now if I look at this one first, <coughs> excuse me, diamond, positive 4 on top, negative 5 on the bottom. Negative 1 and negative 4 work because they multiply to give me positive 4 and they add to give me negative 5. So now my two factors on top here are x minus 1 and x minus 4. Uh, on the bottom, x squared minus 1, this is the difference of two squares, which means this will be x plus 1 and x minus 1. <coughs> on this side, the 4x squared plus 4x, I have a common factor there. The 4x is common to both terms. So when I factor that out, 4x dividing into that gives me x plus 1. 4x divided by 4x is 1. And now I'm going to try to cancel as much as I can and simplify. <clears throat> and this is even before the multiplication. The x minus 1, x minus 1 cancel. The x plus 1 and the x plus 1 cancel. This x and this x cancel. This 4 over 8 cancels. Gives me a 1 and a 2. I'm dividing both of these by 4. So all that's left after all that canceling is x minus 4, the quantity of x minus 4 on top in the numerator and on the denominator, the 2, which is right there. So I've got now 11 and 12 done. 